Hey, what's going on guys, Arava here, and welcome back to my F1 2018 Alpha Romeo Fantasy Crew Mode here on Motorsport Manager, and we're back with Season number 3, and we're really going to kick off now Season 3 with the first race then today at the Australian Grand Prix. If you did miss the last one, where we built uh, this lovely looking new car of ours for the third season in this series, then be sure to go check that one out before you see this one. That was uploaded literally two days ago. Uh, I did a lot of stuff in that episode, you know, all the preseason prep, you know, talking about the car, what we're going to do with it, but we're just going to get straight into the racing then because we're literally here for Sydney on the day of. So we're going to get into it here. We've got an email. We got, well, we did have an email actually just before saying Carlos Sainz is having a secret affair apparently. So he's got minus two focus at the moment, which is not amazing, but uh, we're going to have to deal with that. But uh, in terms of the car parts, we were doing some reliability upgrades to them uh, or some work on them, I should say. At the moment, you can see, uh, I don't know why that's actually moved over to the performance side. Uh, we were doing reliability and we already got the engine and the gearbox up to a high 80s gonna do that a little bit more just for the race weekend then after once australia is done we'll move on to things like the brakes which are 67 a little bit iffy and then the suspension as well um but really good to see that those two are high remember if you did see the last episode we had gearbox issues in pre-season obviously uh you know it doesn't really matter too much it doesn't factor in that much but you never you never know i don't know um it just for the mental sake of just seeing that wasn't great but uh ahead for australia it's going to be stored me in practice, heavy rain in qualifying, and clear in the race. So, I don't know, it's kicking off the season in a very, you know, season opener style. You know, practice may not be very useful apart from qualifying, and then the race will be a kind of toss up in terms of uh, no one's going to have really any relevant knowledge. In terms of the tyres, we're going to take tyre wears high, so I'm not too sure. We'll, we'll take five super softs, we'll take four softs, and I think we'll take six mediums, just in case, you know, I think in the race we'll be using the mediums quite a bit there, um, I don't think we'll use the softs quite a lot, and if anything, if we're going to do a more aggressive strategy, we'll probably use more super softs then, to try and counteract anything, at the moment Rosberg's angry, so let's see why, um, obviously being the better driver, he's going to want the better parts, uh, to be fair, there's not too much of a big difference in our engine, so I'm going to give, uh, Rosberg the better engine, um, I will give him, I'll give Carlos the better brakes, I'll give him him the better gearbox and then I'll give Carlos the better front wing and the better rear wing. Um, actually, no, we'll give Carlos the better rear wing, but there's not much of a difference in the front wing, so I'll give Rosberg the better front wing there. So he's content. Science is content. If we look at the wheel here, Rosberg in orange, you can see generally it looks like Rosberg has the better car. In some areas, Carlos does have the better part, but uh, in general, I think Rosberg's going to end up with a better package. Obviously, you know, there's no brainer. We've got to give uh, Nico the best tools because he's got the best opportunity to get right up there and in the midst of things but I think that's pretty much it let's get into practice for the Australian Grand Prix and kick off season three let's hope it's a good season huh right so for practice we're going to put in for the first race only here we're going to put in both our first drivers uh, Carlos Sainz and Nico Rosberg. Now, you guys, uh, one of you guys pointed out in the comments below, obviously we're going to lose quite a fair bit of feedback from Leclerc, only having four, unfortunately. He may be a, a promising young driver for the future, but his feedback at this stage of his career is not amazing. Uh, but I did want to put him in for practice sessions. So, seeing this is the first race, yeah, I think this is the logic of the first race pretty crucial. You never know what could happen. We could be scoring some big, big points in this first race. You just never know. So, to do that, we're going to give ourselves the best pace possible in this race, Science Rosberg. Then, for the rest of the season, up until the final race, we're going to alternate and put in Leclerc in place of Rosberg and then Science and alternate them. So, one weekend will replace Science, one weekend replace Rosberg, and you get the my drift replace Science the next weekend then Rosberg again, Science, Rosberg, Science, Rosberg, up until the last race of the season, where then again, we'll put in uh, both these guys for the final race. So the bookend, first and last race, both these guys will get equal footing in practice, and then for the rest of the season, in between every single race, one of them alternates and has to give up the forfeit to let Leclerc get some knowledge under his belt and just hopefully grow himself just a tad and get some knowledge in the car. So I think that's going to be the best way to go about it, and uh, I think the fairest way to go about it. So let's go to car setup then and see what's what. But I'm really excited to see what Rosberg can do in terms of 19 feedback. You know, that's a lot of feedback. I mean, because science wasn't too bad. 13, that's not actually too far off. So it's going to be a really solid practice session, I would, I would say. We've got... We've got some rain starting off here, so it's going to be a little bit tricky to get some dry running in, but we're going to go for it, take practice session, and we're going to send them both out quickly on a set of medium tires. And really, I think, honestly, this one will just be... Um, 
uh, essentially just seen how the setup is really I don't think it'll be it won't really be about tire knowledge because the rain's going to start coming down so so quickly so uh, send them out and even you know even though we're quite zoomed out and you can't see the car too well even from this distance I, I really like the look of our of our car I think season three so far has been my favorite livery of our Alfa Romeo beast uh, I don't know let me know in the comments below guys what you think that your favorite livery has been so far in this series of mine season one season two or season three I really do like it you know the Mercedes base uh, with the kind of you know Alfa Romeo colors if you will with the the dark red lighter red for the stripes and the kind of black diffusion on the top there were some suggestions from you guys I should have used maybe some green but I did try a few attempts but it just it didn't work as well as this kind of just black and red combo for me this looks slick as hell even though it maybe isn't the full natural Alfa Romeo colors missing that kind of um, dark green but it just didn't work into the kind of livery style here but um, we're going to just keep them out here try and get a little bit of knowledge as the rain comes down and then we'll bring them in on the end of this lap and hopefully this setup will be uh, pretty good handling feels awesome right now so that's good to hear from Nico uh, first time out in the Alfa Romeo obviously in, in track conditions Aero is feeling great right now so hopefully this setup is not too bad as we now enter the wet period for pretty much a lot of the session now so there's going to be a lot of inters and full wet runnings, which may not be useful for anything apart from qualifying. But there you go. Great way to start off the season. Two greats and one excellent. So, I don't know. Maybe we can tweak it a little bit, but good, good start. And uh, now we'll put on the inters. I mean, that, that third column is looking towards full wet, but then it goes back to inters. So, I think I'll just keep them out on inters. They did get a lot of knowledge, though. For how, for how little they went out, you can see the big difference between Charles Leclerc and uh, and Nico Rosberg in terms of having the 13 plus 19. They only did two laps and they nearly got level one, so that's fantastic. Um, right, I'll send them out on inters then, I think, and uh, we'll just let them run around. But uh, set it wise, 97%. Uh, you know what? We'll keep that. We'll, 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 I think that's fine. So we'll we'll send them out now on race trim inters race trim send them out for good eight laps and uh, we'll just let them pound round really and get the uh, get the race knowledge at least and uh, if it is uh, going to be inters for qualifying we'll get some good inters knowledge as well but there you go nico and carlos already already i'm feeling some good vibes about this duo all right, so the damn period is ending for now, so we're going to bring them both in, and you can see the absolute juggernaut that is Nico Rosberg. Race uh, trim three already, and intermediate level two. Oh my god, like the, the amount of OPness at the moment of having Rosberg in this team is just crazy on the practice knowledge, and it has me kind of rethinking. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we need to just let Carlos Sainz suck it up and sit some sessions out for Charles Leclerc. And just keep Rosberg in as the constant because he's just so good. Uh, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think the strategy should be. Should I maybe just be a bit? I alternate Science and Leclerc uh, constantly and just keep Rosberg there because he's, you know, that level 19 is so good that even if Leclerc's there, we'll still get great knowledge. And in the past, if I remember correctly, back in when I did the Archer career mode last year or like a year and a half ago, I, I remember it didn't really matter too much who was in the car getting the knowledge. It really just uh, hindered. Um, whoever you're replacing in terms of their growth, but in terms of the setup and the and the race prep, nothing changed. So I think it's maybe worth to keep Rosberg just in there, just for the sake of the knowledge and kind of just bounce around Sainz and Leclerc. Obviously, it'll kind of slow down both their kind of progressions in terms of growing as drivers. But you know, if we're trying to also grow the team and the car, I feel like that may be the best bet. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm having a lot of uh, this is obviously a learning process in the first race. The first race we came with this entire new setup for the team, so it's uh, it's uh, definitely all new right now. So we've got a lot of uh, a big dry period now. So let's send them out back on the medium tires and get that knowledge here. So uh, tire choice mediums back on that uh, race trim. Well, we don't need to do race trim actually. We can do qualifying trim now because we've got the race trim. So three laps on medium tires. Send out. And send out as well, qualifying trim, three laps, medium tyres, and let's get some qualifying trim going and also try and complete the medium tyre knowledge that we can use in the race, hopefully. 13, uh, uh, 13 and a half minutes to go and uh, still plenty in it with uh, the amount of knowledge these guys are gaining per, per lap here. So let's go. Right, we've got qualifying trim two, and we're getting onto, there we go, level three on the mediums, and that's per look at that perfect timing. They've got to come in anyway in this lap, so that is literal perfect timing. So we've got a complete set of perks for the race. So now, last few minutes, we just focus on qualifying, trying to get the most knowledge we can here. Is it going to rain again? No, it's not. So I'm just going to send them out again on qualifying trim. May you never know. It said heavy rain for qualifying, but you never know. There might be a, dr a dry period. So I'm going to send them out on so uh, super soft tyres, try and get some super soft knowledge 
uh, and complete level three and qualifying at least. So, you know, either way, if it rains or it's dry on Saturday, they'll have the qualifying trim knowledge. And then we've got a choice of level two intermediates or, I don't know, maybe they can snag at least level one on super softs and... I don't know, they surprised me, level 2 and super soft. Let's see. I mean, you can see how rapid the bar is going up with both these guys. It's absolutely awesome. I've never had this luxury before. It's been a long, long while, two long seasons of not having this luxury of how fast knowledge goes up in practice. And so now, I'm no longer going to be complaining about such a short time in practice. We've got plenty of time to do a lot of stuff now this season. Um... I don't know, could they do level 2? Just about? I don't know, might miss out by just a few pixels. Let's see. Final minute of practice... 30 seconds on the clock. Is it going to be enough? Might do. Let's see. Move that on. Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. Oh, uh, that's going to be very, very close. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're still gaining the knowledge. There you go. Level 2 on Supersoft. So, how do you like that? Level 3, qualifying trim, race trim, medium tyres, and level 2, inters and Supersofts. What a way to kick off the season with such good vibes here. I'm loving this. This is going to be a fun season, guys. This is going to be a fun season. Right, qualifying time here at Sydney. Let's go. It's starting off dry at the moment. And it's going to be dry for the first eight minutes. So like I said, this is good opportunity here. Good stuff that we got level two in the super softs. Let's go for it. Qualifying trim and super softs. So let's try and get a good lap in on the dry tyres. And just not even have a need to go on the inters then later on. Setup's good. Let's just go. Going to send him straight out because I don't know when the rain's going to fall. So I'll send Carlos out straight away. Super soft tyres. We'll wait a little bit because eight minutes, that's a lot of time. So let's see. So uh, what I will kind of do Science's lap and then I'll send out... So I'll do uh, his outlap, I should say, and then I'll send out Nico because it looks like it's not going to rain actually for that entire eight minutes. So we've got time to do this. All right, good and good. So he's all set. Carlos Sainz, not going to rain still. Uh, have we got a gap here in the pit lane? So I'm going to leave Sainz now. We've got two cars going out. Sainz going to cross the line. I'm now going to send Nico. I uh, want to wait a little bit longer. I want to wait a little bit longer. I'm doing a Christian Horner right now. I'm tapping my, my foot up and down because I'm getting nervous here. I need to find some space for Nico to perform here. Right, number nine's going past. I think we'll send him out now. I think now's the latest I can risk this because it might start rapidly raining then. So send him out. Let's go, Nico. Let's go. I'm going to put you on auto because I'm just nervous about messing you up. And obviously, we, we only got good good on Carlos Sainz. So let's see what the computer can do. Maybe he can do better than me. Uh, but Sainz at the moment, obviously purple because he's the first one on track. So let's push this through. See what kind of lap time you can do around the last corner then. Across the line, and I don't know what kind of lap time that is, but we'll see soon enough. But what can Rosberg do? Let's see what the computer gets. Uh, looks like it, the computer is going to get good and overheated. Computer did not do too well for me there, unfortunately. But Nico, uh, he has a little bit of clean air. He's going to probably catch that car, unfortunately, because I think that's a Sauber as it sparks away. A little bit unfortunate, but you can see there, ah, it's going to start raining. I maybe left that a little bit too late there for Nico. Hmm. We'll see. Let's fast forward this. Let's see. Green first sector. A little bit of spray being kicked up. He overtakes the Sauber. And we're going to come through the last corner. Where is Sainz at the moment? Sainz in a really good position at the moment. P5. And Rosberg across the line. And he comes one tenth slower than Sainz. So that's probably the rain. So to be fair, hands up. Maybe left that a little bit too late. Maybe it was a bit too ambitious with that. But good that he's still up there. That's not too far off Sainz. Um, and he had a better track grip for the first kind of sector, so it kind of balanced out there. Um, so, all right, that's decent. Fifth and seventh, I will, I would take that if it ended like this, because obviously now, I hope, fingers crossed, me into the end of the session. So this could be a fantastic first session. Fifth and seventh, yes, please. Thank you very much. I mean, it's, it's, it, it, it sounds maybe better than it is, because Stroll's right there in eighth, Kobe Ash is there in ninth, Ocon's there in tenth. So against our main rivals, Williams, Force India, and Renault, we're only just one position ahead with Rosberg and two ahead of Sainz. And also people like, well, where is, uh, where is Raikkonen or whoever's in the, is Barrichello in the Ferrari now? I think he is. Barrichello. Fr yeah. Wow. Barrichello's back in Ferrari. Raikkonen got dropped. And Barrichello's not doing very well for, for Ferrari. So, um, you know, taking to account uh, that factor of him not being there, um, you know, we can be happy, but I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. So obviously, the race is where it all counts. But 5th and 7th, I think that's going to be it because it's raining to the end of the session now. So, 
sit back and relax, but look at that. No one's going to improve. We're just sat here, and we'll, we'll take it home to the chequered flag. Fantastic. Pole position for Lewis Hamilton. Once again, he is the man to beat in this, uh, I think it's 2019, I think technically in this game right now. Uh, in game, but season three, still the man to beat there and the Mercedes car as well. But there you go. Fifth and seventh place. What a wonderful start there for Carlos Sainz and Nico Rosberg. And obviously, yeah, taking into account that I was the one who made the decision for Nico to go out later. But still, good moral or morale boost for Carlos Sainz to beat Nico Rosberg first qualifying time of asking. Right, so we're into the race now, and we're starting on inters apparently. Um, because it, oh, that's why we're gonna—it's gonna start raining quite rapidly. I wonder though, is the top guys? No, the top guys are gonna be in inters as well. Because sometimes in the past, the top guys have opted for dry tires at the very start, even though it's gonna rain soon. But no, everyone's in inters then, so fair play. So all of us can be on the level playing field in that kind of way. Uh, so in terms of the knowledge, I'm not too sure how to play this because it might rain for only a little bit because it was meant to be dry this race. I mean, it says dry. But it's going to start raining now. But it may be plenty dry for half the race then uh, in the second half. So I think we're going to go for race trim and medium tyres level 3. And hope we can go on to mediums halfway through the race and go right to the end of the Grand Prix then. I think that will be the, the hope there. So yeah, we're going to sacrifice Inter's, Inter's pace uh, for the race becoming dry hopefully. Uh, setup's fine in terms of, yeah, I don't even have to change the tyres because we have to start on Inters. We don't have to, but it's ideal to start on Inters. So pushing and overtake mode. And here we go. I'm quite nervous, actually. First race of potentially a great season. Great package. Good new driver. We need to do well here. I can't afford to make a mistake like I did last season, season two. Remember, I pushed Charles Leclerc way too much in the race and he crashed out there. I think it was in season two or it might have been season one, but we have to do well here. We have to convert p5 p7 to a good position let's go to five red lights for the australian grand prix round number one of this brand new season three let's do this thing science with a good start rosberg a little bit shaky he's boxed in a little bit he's still only p7 ahead of that three-way scrap look at that between the williams car i think that is all the Haas, uh the renault and the ferrari of rubens barrichello and uh we've got kobe actually trying to go around the outside of rosberg rosberg fends off and now rosberg on the back of Max Verstappen, these two familiar from real life. Barrichello around the outside of Kobayashi. Meanwhile, Carlos Sainz in no man's land at the moment in P5, P4. Valtteri Bottas, Hamilton has bottled it from pole. He's down in third. Ricardo second, Vettel first. What a great first opening lap though in general for us. Stayed put, didn't lose a position, that's ideal. And let's go on and start attacking really because uh, I don't know. I, I hope that this uh, won't be a long inter period, so we, we can afford to maybe take some tyre wear out of this tyre. Let's just get the tyre temps up a little bit here. As Rosberg now battles for Stappen. Here he goes. Round the outside of the young Dutchman. Fantastic overtake. Yes, Rosberg. Come on, Nico. Up into P6. Fantastic stuff. So Verstappen struggling in the rain at the moment. His car maybe not there for the pickings. P5, P6. Fabulous stuff at the moment. Going to let the tyre temps go up a little bit to about just over halfway. Then we'll go down to medium. Because I think a lot of people are doing that. Yeah, everyone's doing that. You know what? Let's let's move to that right now. So we'll go neutral, neutral. Uh, Fuel-wise, looks like everyone's pushing on high. So let's do the same thing there. Go on high. And then we'll just remain like this at the moment. But I'm going to keep a big eye on this weather counter. It looks like faintly there on lap 10. It's still going to be raining there. So we do need to protect these tyres for some way. You know, lap 10 to lap 12, you're nearly getting to about halfway through this Grand Prix. But at the moment, look at this. Ricardo is struggling and he's holding up Valtteri Bottas here. And that's pushing both of them into Carlos Sainz and Alter Rosberg. So we could be fighting for P3 soon. This is very exciting indeed. Meanwhile, Hamilton and Vettel kind of waltzing off in the distance here a little bit. So I hope I need, I need Sainz to overtake now. We can. This is going to get very intriguing through the last corner. No ERS, remember. This is kind of odd. This is very odd that there's no ERS for me to manage. Because at this point, my instinct... I was about to I was about to say, let's go and push some ERS here to maybe get past. But now we can't. It's all down to the driver, the car, and just the fuel loads. And the, the way we're pushing the... the what we're, I'm letting the drivers push. So... It's a little bit, you know, more down to them, more down to the AI, uh, less about me maybe kind of you know, instigating a, a push to pass, if you will, with the ERS here. Um, Science still just there. He's getting close, but just not quite there. I might need to let him uh, attack a little bit, take some tire wear out of this, because let's look at the weather. Ooh, ah, that's bad. That's bad. It looks like it's getting to heavy rain, actually. 
So, ooh, there's still hope for it to go to dries later on in the race, but for now, it looks like it's going to be inters to heavy wets, maybe, or inters to another set of inters. Interesting, right. So, uh, Rosberg's closing up, so I'm going to say attack for Carlos Sainz. Because if we're going to go on to an set of inters, we may as well do it earlier rather than later. So let's try and get him past. Let's try and get him past uh, uh, Bottas if, if we can. Look at this, Sainz is still better fuel saving than Rosberg. Science's perk of being easy on fuel is a really great perk. Probably one of the best perks in the game to have um, if, you're, if you've got a formula that is uh, no refueling. So Science is really using that to good advantage. Meanwhile, Rosberg, we need to save a little bit of fuel to be, to be fair. We'll go pushing to try and close up a little bit and stay ahead of Verstappen, who at the moment, to be fair to him, is uh, struggling a little bit to keep up with us. And Barrichello then, eighth place. I don't know why. For I mean, I know Raikkonen didn't do too well, but why would you put... Barrichello up there. Like, Raikkonen was still the better option compared to Barrichello. Don't get it. Weird. Here we go, though. Sainz. Close to Ross... Uh, close to... I keep on saying Rosberg, because he, he, Rosberg used to be in the Mercedes, but he's in our team now. But Sainz now. Close to, Bo uh, to Bottas. Can he overtake? Come on. Do it, son. Ooh. Gets close. Hopefully he can line up this pass. You know what? Let's go on the end of this straight now. I'll let him go overtake mode for a little bit here. Let's really blitz this. For the next couple of laps and hopefully he can get past him. No. Lap seven, nothing yet. Nah, okay, I can't afford to do this for too long. Right, we'll go medium and we'll go neutral now. So I need to back off a little bit of a Carlos Sainz. Meanwhile, Rosberg, he's pushing on. Tire wear is a little bit better than Carlos Sainz. Um, and fuel, he's definitely got the fuel down a little bit. So now we can let him go high. Carlos Sainz now right up the back of Bottas once again, but I need to, I can't let him keep on pushing like that. So we're back to neutral medium here. So annoying actually. So if, uh, this might be a, you know, a case of, uh, you might see less overtakes now in this season due to the lack of ERS from everyone really, not just me, but the AI as well. But you can see, oh my God, it's going to get to full heavy rain. So yeah, we're definitely going to pit around Lap, um, lap 13, 14. So we need to make sure these tyres go the distance now. So different strategy now. Going to go conservative. Go high fuel mixture though. But I need to take these tyres the distance now. I need to take them the distance. And Verstappen, unfortunately for me, is closing back up. So hopefully Rosberg can do a good job of defending. But at the moment, Carlos Sainz is in the driving seat yeah, for this team. Although Rosberg is now visually closing up a little bit as uh, Sainz has failed to overtake Bottas. And I think that's pretty much going to be his chance blown for now in this first thing to overtake him, unfortunately. Because we're the only, yeah, we're the only guys conserving at the moment. Because I can see what's happening. The AI might be pitting in a little bit earlier for Inters. But we're, we're going to try and go straight to full wet if we can. Worn tyres here. At the moment, Rosberg's got the better pace. I'm not going to say any team orders. It's too early for that. It's the first race of the season. They can fight if they want. But I really hope that if Rosberg does want to fight Sainz, he needs to get past him ASAP. Because otherwise, Verstappen's going to pinch them. You know Verstappen being Verstappen, he'll go for it if he can sniff a little chance here. So, a little bit nerve-wracking at the moment. And to be honest, it's going to be a stretch to really take these the distance to full wet. And Verstappen got very close in that final corner. Is Vettel going to pit? Is Hamilton going to pit? No. All these guys, they're actually pushing right now. So they might pit on this next lap. Meanwhile, we're going to continue on. I know I'm going to continue on for one more lap at least because then we can just go straight into full wets and that will be uh, a very good strategy for us. But you can see there, Science actually picks up the pace. About nearly five tenths, half a second faster than his previous lap. So good to see. And Rosberg staying with him. So that's good. But nervously, Verstappen's still there on his rear end. Worn tyres for Rosberg. We'll continue on right now. Oh, Verstappen's getting very, very close. Very, very close indeed. And the tyre attempts are plummeting. But we still need to go longer because the, the heavy wets are coming soon in the next lap. And it looks like the AI are going to be able to do the exact same thing. Uh, Barrichello pit, so that's pretty much your, your call right there. So let's push them all in. Attack mode, we're coming in this lap now. We're coming in this lap. So push in, all hell, pit in. It's going to be a double stack, but we're going to have to do it. Uh, pit strategy fast. Uh, pit strategy full wets fast. Park conditions a little bit iffy, obviously being the first race of the season, but push in. And Rosberg closes in, but you can see the, the clouds have come down in Sydney. And it's time for the four wet tyres, I think. And it looks like everyone's coming in. Well, not everyone. Hamilton stays out, to be fair to him. So they're not going to double stack. We are going to double stack. Do a bit of a Red Bull from real life in the Chinese Grand Prix. Let's hope it's a good double stack. Rosberg get held a little bit. Come on. 
Oh, just behind Verstappen, but not too much. We didn't lose too much there, and no mistake. So I'm going to go neutral. I'm going to go pushing in medium for Sainz. I'm going to go high and attack, and let's try and overtake Verstappen straight away. Need to try and get ahead of him if we can. Here we go. Oh, what was that? What was that? I don't know what that was. I don't know what that message was. Ah, okay. I didn't see it. That was too fast for me. Didn't know what that was, but... Here we go, side by side. Oh, come on, Rosberg, side by side for one, two, three, four corners. But Rosberg's got it up into seventh place. Get in there, Nico son. And he's up past Verstappen once again. And he can continue to push on. I'm going to let him attack a little bit longer down the pit lane into turn one. And now he's got a little bit away from Verstappen. Now we'll go neutral. We'll keep in it. We'll go to medium because we need to save some fuel there. We'll go neutral for science. And here we go. Stalemate. We'll just let them run their races and see what they can, what the AI can do naturally. But I'm not going to touch the settings right now for a couple of laps time because we got, you can see there, one, two, it's like a Kit Kat bar. One, two, three, four bars of four wet tyres. So just got to go the distance and then we'll see how the race pans out. It looks like it's then going to go down a little bit in rain, I think. But unfortunately, my gamble of it going to dries is not going to work out. So in hindsight, we could have had some more performance in the Inter's weather. And that could have been the difference between staying behind Bottas earlier on and overtaking him. But Bottas, to talk about Bottas, he's only now coming in on Inter's. So Sainz may have enough pace on the outlap to overtake him. Yes, we do. Bottas has been screwed. And both our cars are ahead. Verstappen's head as well. I don't know what on earth Mercedes are doing there with this strategy. But Bottas is down to P12. 13 behind Fernando Alonso. A horrendous, horrendous pit stop. He's behind the Toyota boys. And so we're up into fourth and fifth. Fantastic stuff. Good stuff. Now, I just, I just need to worry about Verstappen attacking Rosberg. But at the moment, we don't need to worry about that. He's got under control. I trust him. Right, 14 laps remaining. We're on lap 18. You can see we're really into the heavy rain period, but it's a big, big monsoon here at Sydney. So don't think there'll be any dry tyres here today, but Carlos Sainz's tyre temps are going down somewhat. So I need to, on purpose, push him a little bit and uh, make his tyres wear out. So kind of like um, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, uh, not Abu Dhabi, Dubai, at the end of last season. It's a, it's a, a fine balancing act, cat and mouse game between pushing his tyres, but keeping the tyre temps in. Meanwhile, for Rosberg, his tyre temps not too bad, even though he's been on mediums for the entire time. So you can clearly see the difference in skill there between Science and Rosberg. Rosberg able to keep his tyre temps in uh, despite not pushing the tyres, whereas Science needs to push his tyres on purpose to keep the temps in. But fuel-wise, Science has got the advantage, being naturally better at fuel saving here. But looking really good. Verstappen's not really... You know, he's kept us honest. He's been there, but he's not really attacked Rosberg at all. At the same time, uh, we're not too far off Ricardo there. You know, if Ricardo was to slip up there, we'd be right there for the taking. And ahead of Ricardo, Hamilton's there, and Vettel leads the way for now. So, despite Hamilton looking very strong in qualifying, Vettel with a better race car at the moment. But um, at the moment, sit rep is all good. Very, very happy with how we're doing at the moment. Surprised how much heavy rain there is. I, I really would have liked a bit of a dry period, but. Hey ho, looks like it's going to get towards Inters towards the last couple of uh, laps. So it might be a late pit stop for all of us onto Inters. But we're basically going for wet still for another, well, it's lap, uh, it's lap 19. We're probably going to lap 24, 23 at least. So another five laps to go on on the full wet. So uh, I'll update you later on. Right, lap 21, we got worn tyres for Carlos Sainz here, as I just want to slow this down so, to show you guys. Rosberg, still pretty much you can see visually, exact same gap to Verstappen. Uh, Sainz pretty much uh, near enough same gap. I feel like Rosberg uh, gained a little bit there. Barrichello on Inters. So Barrichello, again, it looks to be the yardstick ready for the grid, actually. So he's, uh, you know, I, I moaned about uh, Ferrari dropping Raikkonen, but to be fair, Barrichello is pretty much a yardstick for the entire grid. So will Vettel come in? And will Hamilton come in? Remember, Hamilton stayed out for one more lap compared to Vettel. Let's see what Vettel does. But it's still raining heavy, so that's a big gamble by Barrichello and Van Dorn as well. I feel like we could go one lap longer, everyone, until we go on to Inters. I think Vettel will think the same thing. Yes, he's going to think the same thing here. So we're also going to continue on for one more lap. And then I think it'll be time for Inters, I think. So I'm going to cautiously tell them to start pushing and start using some of their fuel here. But we might go on one lap even longer. Let's see, let's see. But fast forward this. And now I want to see what Vettel's doing. Is he going to come in? Yeah, Vettel comes in. Let's come in, let's come in. Right, attack mode. Going to come in with Sainz. Um, on to Inters. Park condition is a little... Jesus, 
a little bit iffy there, so we're going to have to pray a little bit because that front wing's looking very, very iffy, but we'll come in with him. Let's not double stack Rosberg because he's going to be hit with Verstappen, so let's push even harder with Rosberg now and uh, hope that he can, uh, you know, have enough pace on this next in lap effectively to still have the pace there. Now we'll come on to Inters on the next lap. His front wing's a little bit iffy, but not as much as uh, Sainz. Uh, right, Sainz, good pit stop. Please, no mistakes. Good. Awesome, awesome. No mistakes there. Out in clean air. Right, going to use high and pushing. Rosberg, meanwhile, is he gaining? Um, it's a white first sector. Minus eight, actually. So he is gaining on this on this uh, in-lap there. Overall, not lost too much time there on that in-lap. So that's good uh, Good strategy work from myself. I do say so myself uh, to not double start them this time. Learn from my mistakes on the first pit stop. So he's in for inters. It's good. And, oh, my, look at that. Jesus. Jesus. He is just out ahead of Verstappen, so it was close. It was very close, but ultimately, the double stack, the, wait, hang on, what? Vettel lost time somewhere. I think he had a mistake on the pit stop. Sainz up into, into third right now, and Rosberg fourth. Oh, my God, look at the margins, though. That's crazy. Is Verstappen going to make a move? Let's see. Let's focus on this battle at the moment. Let's go down to medium fuel, because Rosberg doesn't have the fuel to use, unlike Carlos Sainz. So, again... You know, Rosberg may be Rosberg, but Sainz, his uh, fuel perk is so OP in this game at the moment. But Rosberg pushing away hard, and he's going to stay ahead. And uh, Verstappen's going to have to worry about a charging Sebastian Vettel. So how about that? Again, Vettel and Verstappen have to come towards here. But I'm curious. Here's Sainz sending a purple first sector. Let's push. Where on earth? is Ricardo and Hamilton. Here we go. Oh, my God. Carlos Sainz up into first place. Oh, oh. Okay. Calm down, Arav. Car oh, my God. The car's breaking. The front wing's going to fall off. Oh, my God. This is amazing. This is... You you've never seen stuff like it. Rosberg's in third place as well. This is biblical stuff. This is biblical. Front wing, science. I don't care if you get a Pritt stick out of the cockpit. You climb over the top of the cockpit and try and glue the front wing back on a little bit whilst you drive. You need to keep that front wing on, son. You're staying out. You're not coming in for a pit stop. You need to stay out there, lads. Oh, my God. This is amazing. This could be great. And, oh, look at that. Mechanical issues for Hamilton. Hamilton's got mechanical issues at the moment as well. So this could be Rosberg into P2. And remember, Rosberg's got a good front wing. So even if, uh, if science was to have issues... Rosberg would be there to take up and pick up the pieces. It's three wide between Rosberg, Hamilton, Verstappen. It's fantastic. Verstappen up into second, though. Rosberg down. Oh, he's up into third. Come on, make the make. Make the overtake, Rosberg. Do it for the old sake. Stick the Hamilton. Good stuff, Nico. Good stuff. Go, charge now. We need to attack uh, Verstappen. Oh, my God. My hands are shaking, lads. My hands are shaking. This is amazing. This is truly amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Someone hold me. Carlos Sainz, once again, have my babies. Oh, you're in first. Come on. Come on. Four laps. Four laps. Just four laps. Just got to do it. Four, my, my voice is permanently high now, now like this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. This is why. You see... At times, this game can be a little bit, you know, it's, you know, just need to be a little bit calm. You know, nothing's really happening. And then at the flick of a switch, this game just becomes lightning exciting. It's times like these where my hands, my hands are literally, my, my hair is on end in terms of what's happening at the moment. Come on, Rosberg. Come on. Catch Verstappen. This could, I love wet races in this game. Purple last sector. Ricardo's going very fast as well, though. He's on, wait, well, hang on, what? Oh. Oh my god, that's another layer. Ricardo's on super softs. It's time for dries. Do I pit Sainz and maybe fix his front wing? Oh my god. If I was to fix his part here, go on to super softs, it would be a four second pit stop. Where, where would he come out? About P6. He would come out where Rosberg is, where, where Ricardo is. Realistically, the game would lie to me. I'll come out in P7 or P8. Oh, I don't know. That's interesting. Interesting developments. Right, let's go high. I need to I need to have a keen eye on Ricardo here. He's the key to this race. How fast does he catch Rosberg? If he catches him rapidly, he's catch he's catching it right or not here. Surely we have to pit. Surely we have to pit. If he doesn't overtake Vettel this lap, then maybe not. Let's see. Down the inside. Ooh, Vettel stays ahead to be fair. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Ricardo's ahead, but he lost time there. He lost time. And Rosberg. 
is catching Verstappen. Is Verstappen going to come in? No, Verstappen does not come in. Right. Uh, oh, we really need to save fuel. My bad. I need to save fuel now with Rosberg. Oh, I really wanted to try and overtake Verstappen, but now Rosberg's got really crucial fuel. Ah, that's, that's annoying. That's annoying. But can he overtake? Come on. Come on. Right. Ricardo's not gaining as much as I thought on Hamilton. We're not getting as much as I thought on Verstappen. But that is because we're saving fuel. Verstappen is not saving fuel. Hamilton's saving fuel, but Verstappen's not. So that's unfortunate that Rosberg just... I need I needed Sainz's fuel perk for Rosberg at this stage of the Grand Prix, really, to be honest. But let's just see how it goes. Hamilton is closing because we're on low fuel. Two laps remaining. Let's go all out attack. Ah, oh, Ricardo's there on dry tyres. And just like the Chinese Grand Prix, Ricardo's pushing through. Rosberg drops to four. Hamilton overtakes us. We're really struggling now on low fuel at the moment in this Grand Prix. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. But Carlos Sainz still in first. Somehow. Somehow. Ricardo's in second now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is going to be nail-biting. There's like one lap left, basically. Final lap of the Grand Prix. Okay, lads, look at the scene here. Carlos Sainz, one lap left. There he is. And there is Dan Ricardo. Four seconds back. Is he has he got four seconds on, on Sainz though? That's the question. And Rosberg, he's still saving fuel. He's got 0.13. Mine is 0.13. He's ahead of Vettel. He's behind Hamilton though, and Hamilton's on medium tires. So actually, no wonder Hamilton's faster now. Actually, I didn't realise that the entire time Hamilton was on mediums then, but he had a mechanical failure, so that's what was holding him back at first. Um, right, so I'm going all out attack with Rosberg on the tyres. Low fuel, though, because he needs to save fuel, so that's fine. I can let him go and not really worry about him, I think. I can't really focus on him because I need to focus on science. We've got fuel left for a last gasp overtake push mode, and we've got tyre wear for an attack mode. Probably this lap, actually. Let's just go for it. Attack mode. Let's go. I'm not going to... I'm not going to fast forward it. I want to stay slow for this entire lap because this is tense. This is tense. Oh, my God. Ricardo is gaining so much there. He's already three. He's, th he's gained a second in a sector there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here he comes. Here he comes into the hairpin. Right. Overtake mode. Let's go. Let's go. Push hard signs. Push hard signs. Oh, my God. The honey badger is coming. The honey badger is coming. Here he comes. But we're, we're pushing hard. We're pushing hard. Come on. Science, please. No. Here he comes. Don't destroy the dream, Ricardo. I love you and all. But come on. Please, science, please. Oh, we're crucial on fuel. There goes Ricardo into the last corner. Overtake mode. Come on. Not across the line. Not like this. Don't do this to me. I'm going to have a heart attack. Yes. Carlos Sainz wins the Australian Grand Prix. Get in, son. Get in. Rosberg ends up fifth. My hands are shaking. My heart's pounding. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> Carlos Sainz, you are a race winner, baby. Get in. Get in. What an end of that race. What an end. Oh, my God, guys. If you could see my face right now or my hand. My hand is shaking. What a Grand Prix that was. First and fifth. I love wet races. Thank you very much. What a drive. What a race. Oh, bravissimo. Bravissimo. There we go. First place, Carlos Sainz Jr. Fifth place, Nico Rosberg. Had issues with fuel at the end there. Could have been maybe P4 at best with Rosberg, but ultimately Ricardo and Hamilton on dry tyres had it in the end. Carlos Sainz just had enough distance ahead on track to keep ahead by three tenths then in the end. Wow, but look at that. Our first winning trophy, I believe, for Alfa Romeo. It's taken three seasons. There we go. What a drive there, son. What a drive. Absolutely awesome. And we're first place in the, in the Constructors. Crazy. I told you guys, the first race, we could get some big, big points here. So it was good to get the knowledge. There you go. Wonderful stuff. Science Junior wins Sydney Thriller. Indeed, indeed. And that's where we're going to end it, guys. So if you did enjoy that video, smash that like button. Let's try and aim for over 1,000 likes for what was a crazy, crazy race. One of the craziest on most what manager actually I think I've had in, in a while. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. And I'm just going to preface this. Unfortunately, I'm doing... You might be able to tell I'm doing this part post-commentary because there was an issue. Um, that was a fantastic race. But now I've run into an issue with the game. Uh, when I click the menu now 
to go on and load the screen for the post race where it tells you how the drivers did in terms of learning stats and uh, giving us our income for the end of the race. The game loads into a blank screen. I can still hear the background music, but the entire visual is blank. I can't click anything. My mouse click doesn't do anything. It's non-responsive. Um, so at the moment, uh, I've hit a bit of a roadblock on what I can do. I've tried to send a message over to actually the, the, the guy who founded Motorsport Manager and the entire studio that, that built the game uh, on Twitter to try and see maybe if he can help me out because there were times in the past last year where sometimes when the game really got broken, I just didn't know what to do. He was able to help out massively. So fingers crossed that he can get back to me in the next week and I can get, the, get it fixed for an episode for next week. But if not, then you know why. And basically, I need to just put the series on hold until I find a solution. I really hope that I don't have to pause the series and that it basically won't feel like any kind of break uh, and that I can have one for next week. But at the moment, just to let you guys know, and if you're watching this far, do let other people know in the comments below if you see them asking